Tilapia are a great fish for aquaponics for many reasons, but I like them because you can tell their genders very easily and you can breed them in captivity very easily. But how exactly do you do it? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from New Agrarian on YouTube, where we're all about aquaponics, hydroponics, and agriculture. In today's episode, we're talking about tilapia, specifically tilapia spawning. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're gonna need to know how to do in order to spawn tilapia in captivity is identify males and females. So let's head to the greenhouse and take a look at how we do this. So if you guys are into aquaponics or hydroponics, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So once you have a few fish set aside, be careful grabbing them, but I like to grab them by the head, and we're gonna take a look at the underside of the fish's body. You're gonna need some dark colored food coloring to do this. I like green the best, but I have blue today. On a female fish, the dye will actually seep into this opening. That's the oviduct, that's where eggs come out. In the male fish, there won't be an obvious opening that looks like this minus sign here. So let's do the next one together. So I'll put my dye on the fish and let's take a look. So do you see a minus sign? I do, right by my fingernail. So this is a female as well. So there's two of my females. I will grab one male and I will be all set. You can't do this with all fish, but you can do this with tilapia when they weigh as little as 50 grams. All right, now that we know how to identify males and females, let's talk about the ratios that you need to achieve in your aquarium. First of all, for your spawning aquarium itself, I wouldn't go any smaller than 50 gallons. I feel like that's a good aquarium size for three to six fish total and I've been successful in this size aquarium several times. Once you have your aquarium picked out, you want to stock fish in there at a ratio of two females to one male. And that's super important to achieve proper social dynamics. If you have as many males or more males than females, they tend to fight and become aggressive and they can actually do harm or kill one another. So I recommend having three fish total, two females and one male, or six fish total, four females and two males. Either one of those setups can get the job done. I like to have fish that are about this size, if you can see this one behind me in this aquarium. Relatively small, less than a pound, definitely. It makes them easier to handle, although they'll lay less eggs if they're this small, but it just makes them easier to handle overall. I like to put fish in the aquarium that will fit into a piece of three inch PVC. This is going to act as the safe haven for the female fish in the event that the males are pressuring them. They can have this to hide in. And it'll make them more comfortable and hopefully make your spawning effort it's more successful. So we've got our two to one female ratio. We've got our safe havens for our females. Now let's talk about the aquarium environment itself. Leading up to this point, you wanna make sure that your fish are well fed and that they have a diet that is rich in protein. This is going to ensure that the females lay nice, healthy quantities of eggs and that they also will choose to allocate their energy to spawning rather than growing or some type of maintenance. So once you have your well-fed fish stocked into your aquarium at the appropriate ratios, the most important thing for tilapia spawning is the temperature. Tilapia will be environmentally cued to spawn when temperatures are above 80 degrees. So what I like to do is when I first put them in here, I'll make sure the temperature is 70 or 68, and I'll kind of let them hang out in here for a few days just to become acclimated with one another. After a few days go by, I will actually crank the temperature up to 80 degrees, and I find that this sudden temperature increase can actually cue them to spawn. Once the temperature is at 80 degrees and above, you should see the male start to chase the female around the aquarium, butt her a little bit with his mouth, this is him saying that he's ready to spawn. That's a good thing. But again, that's where the hiding places come into play. You don't really need filtration in this aquarium. They won't be in there for a very long duration. If you wanna to choose to leave them in longer, absolutely put a filter on. One of the other things that I've seen online is the mention of light. Light and day length is a very common thing for fish to be cued to spawn, but in my experience, spawning them in aquariums it doesn't matter. What's most important is the temperature. So once your fish ratio and your environment is set up properly, every day you wanna make sure that you're checking your female fish's mouths. You can do this by simply looking in the aquarium, but if they spawn, any tilapia in the genus Oreochromis will incubate the eggs in her mouth. So Nile tilapia, Oreochromis niloticus, blue tilapia, Oreochromis aureus, tilapia hornorum, which is this one. All those fish are mouth brooders. So you'll notice that the female will kind of chin pop. I think I have a video clip here. It's not just normal respiration. There's like a, a breath followed by like a chin pop. I'm able to kind of recognize when fish have eggs because of that. So once you see that happening, once you see the eggs in her mouth, they have successfully spawned and fertilized eggs. Now it's time to hatch them. 
There's a few different ways you can do this. Let's start with the natural way. So if you choose to let the mother hatch the eggs naturally, you wanna first remove all of her tank mates so she's in there by herself with the eggs in her mouth. You wanna check the development of the fry every day. Once that yolk disappears, and the fish are almost free swimming, you wanna rinse her mouth out in the aquarium and let the fry in the aquarium by themselves because the mother will actually eat them after a while if she's hungry. This should be like seven to 10 days. The other way to do this is with a hatching jar, which is what I'm gonna do. So strip the eggs out of the female's mouth by rinsing her mouth out over a bucket. Dumping the eggs in the hatching jar, hooking a pump up to it, and allowing it to slowly trickle into your aquarium. Once the fry hatch, they will swim up the jar and plop into the tank. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you spawn tilapia in captivity in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Make sure you're always spawning fish from separate genetic lineages. You never want to spawn brothers and sisters. But this is a great thing to know how to do if you run an aquaponics or aquaculture operation in order to keep your stocks up. So hope that tip helps you guys, and thanks for watching.